This is the Bergamasco, an Italian sheepdog whose coat gives him a most unusual appearance. Like the other Italian breeds, he is of ancient origin, probably brought to Italy by the Phoenicians, who bought and sold these dogs along with the sheep they traded. They developed in the Bergamasca valleys in Italy's north and guarded and drove herds of sheep in the Italian Alps. The development of the Bergamasco was based purely on his working abilities. The Bergamasco is a squarely built dog with a balanced head and an exceptionally strong jaw. They come in all shades of grey, including with grey patches, to solid black. They may also be white, however white patches are only tolerated in moderation. We were fortunate to meet this Bergamasco owner from Canada. I own this breed in Canada. I have one from Maria's Kennel here um, in Italy and one from the first litter which was born in the United States. Right, now tell me about the coat. It's a triple coated breed. Um, when the dog reaches about six months to eight months of age, the goat hair comes through where the undercoat and the outer coat already exist and create what in Italian is called biocoli or maps known as flocks. We call them flocks because they don't cord, they do not twist on themselves. They weave, almost weave um, what we call um, a flock and it continues to grow in that length and until the dog uh, forever. And these flocks, it's interesting, this particular dog here, they are different color through it. That's not unusual considering what you see at the ends of the, the flocks or the maps is the dog's older hair, the puppy coat, the first coat it ever had. And since it still exists, it gets sun bleached and therefore turns a, a brown. Um, the blacks do the same thing, but they have more of a reddish tinge to the ends of their, of their maps. Um, but it is completely natural. It does indicate that the dog is a different color. It is true, like your own hair gets sun bleached. So it's not an abnormality or anything different. Now this dog here has this triangle of hair over his neck that isn't, it isn't yet in flocks. Sometimes um, the dogs have, it's almost like a triangle, it's like a little mantle or a kerchief at the back that goes down towards some portion of the spine. And it does not cord, it simply um, thickens a little bit, but it is completely natural. It depends on the different character of the dog, all right? Some of them have maps that start here, okay? And some of them, like Ita's here, have um, what I call a little kerchief at the back, and it usually stays that way, which is also quite usual. One of the other um, members of this kennel, she has a very light coat all along the top of her back, which is wavy hair, which is the outer coat, and that also is quite normal. It actually depends on the individual dog, their heritage, the kind of hair that their parents have, and the kind of... Um, the kind of uh, destination that they're taking as their own independent person, so to speak. Well, they're a very interesting breed. What do they like to live with? Wonderful. They're very, um, they're a very compassionate dog. They are very considerate of yourself. Um, I have a bearded collie as well, and they live very harmoniously with other animals. They're very um, protective of you in the extent that they are alert. They, they're not an aggressive dog. Um, they are very watchful, as is their nature of the flock guard dog, and um, they are very wise and playful, all rolled into one. They're a lovely companion. I really enjoy mine. And keeping up with his, his the separation of uh, the maps when they form, you can find any problem areas that may attract dirt or leaves or whatever, and keep on top of it. So I don't find his upkeep extremely different. And I found even with the maps, when um, my dog was developing his coat, he, he took daily making sure that the maps were separated 
but that was only for a period of about a month and a half. And then the maps were set, and he is developing quite a nice coat, as these dogs do as well. Once you keep on top of it, you've established how their hair is going to develop, then you're fine. That's terrific. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.